for the good. Our knowledge of good is based on our five senses. Our, our knowledge of good is very, very limited. When God created the heavens and the earth, he said that it was good. And so there have been times, and I'm sure you can relate, how many of you have gone through a season of life and you thought you knew what God was going to do coming out of that season? You knew what the perfect plan, solution for it all to culminate was. Like you knew how that was going to work. You knew what God was doing. And then when God actually did what he had planned all along, you realized that you had no idea at all what was going on. Because see, our idea of good is totally different than what God's idea of good is in most cases because God's idea of good is far more advanced and far more eternal than what we can comprehend. It's very, very possible that you and I could go through season after season after season with God all working those things together for a good that is so greater than anything that you and I could imagine. And it's easy for us to get caught up in the season to season to season to season and we can forget that God is stringing those together and he's producing a work and he's using, he's working all of these things, everything, the good and the bad for his good, for a good that only he can define, a good that would bring him glory.